What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Pumo Plow. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 video here on the Xbox One. I appreciate you guys clicking on the video. How's it going? Welcome in. Uh, first, right off the jump, uh, the land party that I was talking about. Uh, if we do that, it'll only be the people in the room. Just makes life a little bit easier, so we'll have, like, passwords on and stuff. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I appreciate the offer, but keep in mind... Coming up on December, I think, 10th and 12th. I'm going to be doing some daytime streaming on Twitch. And I'm going to be playing on Xbox. One day we're going to play on my buddy Dom's map. The next day we're going to play... Or I don't know which day is which. But uh, one of the days we're going to be playing on his map. One of the days we're going to be playing on my map here on this map. Uh, so, you know, keep an eye out for that one. Uh, of course, we'll have password on. But we will be telling people the password and the name of the game and all that good stuff. Uh, we may have to limit it down to... You know, only a couple people because of lag and stuff. But, uh, yeah, if we do a land party, it will only be the people in the room uh, that will be on the land party. Uh, second off, um, where's Mike? He quit like three years ago, guys. It's been a long time. He quit. He doesn't want anything to do with Boom Plow or Internet Life or any of that stuff anymore. So, there you go. It, it comes up way too often. But uh, he quit. He quit. Flat out, he quit. That's it. That's all there is to it, guys. Okay. So, what we're doing, guys, today... Oh, and Rob, I appreciate you very much, sir. I'm just going to throw that out there. I appreciate you, buddy. Um, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to... Uh, we're going to sell some soybeans. We need to get some money together to rent that forge harvester. Now, I think I said this video we were going to be forge harvesting. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> and I'll show you why. <laughs> He is still fertilizing. <laughs> he is still fertilizing our field. So I just didn't did just didn't get it done. Uh, I apologize for that, but hey, it, it, it's planted. It's there. I mean, you can see it's it's corn. It's there. So it just needs to be uh, fertilized. So uh, that's what we're working on. <laughs> that's what we're working on. Sorry, I thought I heard a noise in my house. So I wanted to stop and uh, listen for that, but, um, yeah, so yeah, we're going to haul grain and probably pick up some grass and, uh, if we can't, or if we, if we, our storage is full, we'll probably just sell. Today's kind of about making money. I mean, we made $199,000 off that trailer. So, you know, there's that. Our soybeans are worth some good money right now. So... <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're probably going to run grain until we're out or pretty much out of everything that we have. We do have a couple. We have soybean and something else. Oat, maybe? Canola? Something. We have, I think canola. I think it's canola. So we have a couple different things we need to sell today and then pick up this grass that has been raked up. So need to get it rolling here as well. But I do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Leaving those comments in the last one. Thank you guys for that. It's always awesome. Uh, we have this in canola. Yeah. Canola price is still going up. So we may we may hold on to that for just a little bit. But that's okay. Or we might fast time a little bit too. Not sure which one. We're going to do something though for sure. To uh, make some money. Make some money. That's what it's all about guys. Making money. Just saying. So it's all about here in Farm Sim. So of course I can spend it. Uh, you guys know I can't like I can't keep my money <laughs> I cannot keep my money so yeah oh and going back to that land party I don't think that's happening like next weekend but I think it, it's gonna happen eventually and we're gonna have probably I don't know four or five of us playing so like that's pretty much a full game anyway but I do appreciate the offer and like I said December the week of December 9th we're gonna be doing some Xbox day streaming and it's going to be magical. Okay? It's going to be magical. And we will let people join us. So make sure you guys are ready for that one. So, you know, if you see a lot of the mods in my map here, you might want to download them. <laughs> I'm just saying, because it'll probably fill up pretty quick. So you might want to do that. And then I'm, I guess whatever mods my buddy Dom has, I'll have to get his mods too. I don't know if he's running... I don't know what he's running, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Hopefully, it's not too laggy, and hopefully, it's uh, fairly decent and whatnot. 
So there is that. There is that. But no, I uh, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Just I do. I do appreciate y'all. Um, what was I gonna talk about? I was gonna talk about something. I was gonna talk about something. Oh, I can't remember now, guys. I can't remember. See, it's it's like after two o'clock in the morning. It's getting a little late, you know. Kind of just want to go to bed. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm looking forward to the day once I get done with Christmas lights. <laughs> okay, I, I go through this every year. I'm excited to put start putting Christmas lights up. I get where I'm at now, which is about halfway halfway done. I should be farther along than I am. As far as Christmas, Christmas lights, I'm, I'm way behind. I lost like a week to weather. I mean, it snowed. It was 12 degrees at night and like 20 degrees during the day. And like it was it was horrible weather. So I lost a lot of time to that. Um, but I kind of go through this every year where it's like, is this worth it? Is this all this time, this effort? Just is it worth it? And I've told you guys in the past that like once I hear the first car of kids or, you know, adults and there's kids in the back and they roll the window down and the kids are, yeah, I like, oh, look at that, Santa, blah, 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 you know, that, that makes it worth it. Talking to my mailman the other day kind of made it worth it already. He was so excited. <laughs> and of course, he, you know, he gets to see it like in progress, you know, he gets to see what I do every day and. He's all about it. He's all about it. We've had the same mailman for years. I mean, years. And actually, he's really only the second mailman that I can remember. When I was a kid, we had this one guy forever. And he finally had to retire. He had terrible carpal tunnel syndrome in his wrist. He had multiple, multiple surgeries. And he finally just said enough. He couldn't couldn't take it anymore. So he, he retired. Of course, he was getting up there in age too. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and then I think we had some like temporary ones. And then this guy's been our mailman forever. I bet 10 or 15 years now. Like I need to get him a Christmas gift kind of thing. You know, like <laughs> he's been our mailman for so long. And uh, yeah, so we actually have given him cookies in the past like Christmas. But I don't think we're going to bake any this year, of course. But you never know. Dad might get a wild hair and want to, you know make some peanut butter cookies or something like that. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I talked to him on, I guess it was Saturday. I was out there and was that Saturday? No, if I had to have been Friday, cause I was at the farm all day on Saturday. Uh, but he was like, he's really into it. He, he's so excited. He's like, man, I just can't wait. I can't wait. I just can't wait. I'm ah. Uh, I just, uh, you're the best house on my route as far as like Christmas lights. He's like, I just, I just can't wait to see it all done. And what's new this year? And what are you, what are you doing? And it was fun. It was a really good conversation with my mailman. And it kind of just made it worth it. So I like when there's people that are just, you know, that into my lights. They're just all about it. And uh, where are we even taking this? I don't even know. Uh, I really should hold on to this. I really should, but I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I'm going to let it go, chat. Let it go. <laughs> Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to cheat a little bit. Let it go. Come on, truck. I know you really don't like a full load. Once he gets going, though, it's like he's got to shift into second gear like once we get going it'll roll just fine i've noticed that with this truck it just does not like a full well, we may not be able to get going here one mile an hour come on now don't make an idiot out of me because like i've done this before obviously come on get it get it i'm telling you it's like he's got a shift it's like that low low gear is just not quite low enough type thing Second gear is just like a little bit better. And then boom, once you hit like 14, you're gone. I mean, in a slow fashion. <laughs> I don't think I want to put another trailer behind this thing. I really don't think I want to do that. But, you know, once you get going, you're going. You know, it, we're going to, I don't know if we'll hit top speed, but we're cruising right, right along now, you know. It's kind of amazing like that. Yeah. But yeah, I go through this every year where it's just like, I just don't know. 
the money, the time, the, the effort, the sweat, the blood, the eh, not so many tears, but you know, it's going to be worth it when I can get to stand in the street and just look at all. I don't, I don't quite know if I'm going to, oh, why am I selling? No, 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 no. I don't quite know if I'm going to hit 20,000 lights like I wanted to. Uh, but I am going to hit, I'm going to hit quite a bit. So I was hoping to hit 20,000, but like replacing all the lights on the deer, I'm actually going down in my number of lights a little bit. Um, I was hoping to buy a whole bunch of white on white lights with green wires, kind of like the C sevens or C nine led a little bit bigger bulb. And I was going to put like a lot in my first tree. Cause that's the thing, you know, mom said last year. Uh, when all the lights turned on, she's like, that first tree could use some white lights. So I was going to put like, you know, 5,000 or so lights in that one tree alone. Um, but doing the snowman project and other stuff, I just kind of have to calm down a little bit. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I haven't, I, I bought a whole bunch of lights to replace the lights on my deer. I was talking about that in the Madison County video earlier, but, uh, Got a whole bunch of lights coming for that just to um, replace basically the um, the lights that I'm, I lost because they just don't work anymore. A couple of those deer took headers at the farm. Uh, they were hanging for the flood and a couple of them took, took like a header. So there is that. So, I mean, it's just, it is what it is kind of, you know, it's not... It's not really anybody's fault. I mean, we should have gotten down a lot sooner than we, we should have even checked on them a lot sooner than we did. Uh, we just didn't really think to go after the flood and get them down, you know, plus there was actually another threat of kind of a secondary flood. Uh, but luckily it didn't happen. And luckily our levee was actually still intact as well. Of course, it's not much of a levee. It's only a few feet tall, but it didn't wash out, you know? So that's actually a really good thing. So. At least that's what they tell us that it didn't work out. I don't actually know. Okay, he's still hired down there, so he's still fertilizing, which is fine. Which is fine, yeah, it's totally fine. But um, yeah, so we should have gone in there a lot sooner and checked on the deer and you know gotten them down. Uh, once we figured out that they had a couple, three of them had fallen. Of course, we we went in and took the rest of them down immediately. So there's that, but. Uh, just one of those things such as life some of those lights on those deers are probably 10 years old or better so i'm not really like upset about them breaking you know or just not working anymore they were all incandescent white on white so um like i said i'm just i'm not upset that they i'm just it's a lot of work to replace all those you know but i'm probably going to be putting a lot less lights per deer because i'm not using um uh incandescent i'm going with led so they're way brighter way better looking so you just don't need as many so yeah i ordered somewhere around like 2000 lights but i have several deer and two snowmen things i have to cover so there's that and it may not be enough i'm not sure <laughs> it actually might not be enough so if it's not, I will get more coming and you know, I have to take care of the things that I have because gotta, gotta keep them rolling, you know? So when you do a big display like I do it, it you lose, you eat lights basically when you, when you do, you know, last year was about 15,000. Um, it, it just happens, you know, you're going to eat lights. There's nothing you can do about it. So there is that. And then not to mention, um, wiring them, plugging them all in. That's another like two day project has at least two days. So that's kind of a, uh, kind of a nightmare, honestly, in a way, but it's not bad. I've got, um, what do I have? Three big tubs of, of extension cords now. Something like that. And you guys might be saying, oh my God, that's so much money. It's like, well, it is. 
Don't get me wrong, but it's one of those things we've accumulated over so many years. I have extension cords that, you know, I bought 15 years ago when I started doing lights, or 10 years ago when I started doing lights bigger. Even five years ago when I went bigger, you know. The bigger you go, of course, the more cords you're going to need, but if you buy them little by little, or, you know, you buy the, the green Christmas, uh, like, splitters, you know, the outdoor splitters, you buy those after Christmas, and you can get save a lot of money on them. So that's how I've done a lot of my display over the years is buying stuff after Christmas. I think this year's the most stuff I've ever bought before Christmas. The lights that I got for replacing the, uh, the deer and then the lights I bought for making the snowman project. Those are all brand new, brand new um, before Christmas. So unfortunately, yeah, I did have to pay full price. I would like to kind of get a little more serious this year. And, and in fact, last year, I know we didn't go out and shop after Christmas. Uh, Mom was very ill at the time, had actually just gotten out of the hospital Christmas Day last year. Um, and, um, yeah, so we didn't go Christmas shopping at all last year or after Christmas shopping. Not, not at all. Spent time with mom and took care of her. And, uh, year before the year before we all had the flu. Yeah. Because right after Christmas, the year before mom ended up in the hospital with the flu. And she got dehydrated and stuff. And that was right before she got her uh, necrotizing fasciitis, which is actually the, the infection that, well, I don't want to say she didn't die from that per se, but the complications, um, you know, kidney failure and her heart failure was turned up, up quite a bit and different things, you know, congestive heart failure was a, was a big player and uh, end stage renal failure and yeah, all that good stuff. But, uh, or not good stuff. You know, guys, you guys know what I mean. And, uh, so we didn't shop that year either. So there was two years in a row. We didn't go out and shop after Christmas. So this year I got to get a little more serious about getting out and getting some 50, 75% of deals, getting some new stuff for next year. So that's not the right button. That's the right button. All 3,000 liters. Whoop, he do. Hey, at least I'll be able to go this time. Watch this. Rocket man. <laughs> go a lot faster this time, I'm just saying. But yeah, I'm hoping to get out this year and get some cool some snowflakes or some cool something. I mean, I could make all the stuff, but like, sometimes it's just easier to buy it, you know? Sometimes it's just easier to buy it. <laughs> So, although like a, the snowman or the snowflakes, I wouldn't mind making those. That'd be kind of cool. But I, I saw this really cool one at a hardware store. It was RGB, an RGB snowflake. It was really, really cool. But it was like way too much money because we were at a like a hot, small, like little, you know, <laughs> little old timey hardware store. You know, it was, I've talked about it before, but we were like, you walk in, they're popping popcorn kind of thing. A guy greets you at the door. Can I help you? Howdy folks. Can I help you today? You know, that kind of thing. So of course, anything Christmas related they have is like outrageously expensive because they're not buying in bulk, 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 like, you know, say Walmart, Lowe's, Target, Depot, Menards, something like that. You know, the, the box stores. So there is that. This is going to take forever to note. I don't even need to stop. <laughs> That's how long that took. Jeez. So long, guys. Oh, I drove right into the stupid lime station thing. All right, so we have $1.2 million now. And I believe we are basically out of grain. We have a little bit of barley, but I'm going to I'm gonna let that ride. I'm going to let that ride, guys. Well, let's drive our truck back and pick up grass for a couple minutes. I know this has been a driving episode, but he's still fertilizing. So we need to just let him fertilize, you know, and get that done. And then we'll start the chaffing process in the next video. We'll probably use our Magnum with our um, forage wagon, our pickup wagon, whatever you want to call it. Pickup wagon. We'll use that to uh, 
uh, run next to the combine and everything. So there's that. So we'll be good. Or run next to the forge harvester, not the combine. Um, speaking of okay, magnums, let's go. I choose you. I choose you, Pokemon. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I, I choose you. I feel like that's a voice, but I don't know who it is. Here, here, you see, you see, I, I, uh, I choose you. I don't know who this is, but I feel like I know this voice from somewhere. I don't know. I, I don't know. Real close to Bill Clinton, just saying. Oh no. All right, I'll stop. That's two videos in a row. I've talked like Bill. I know my Bill Clinton's really bad at chat or comments. I, I know. I know. I'm working on it. Problem is I work on it and people start like, you know, grumbling, complaining and moaning, groaning. So, you know, you got to let a uh, comedian work on his craft. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't believe in that, though. Some people just... Um, like to grumble and moan and complain and yeah <laughs> yeah i'm not naming names because i'm not i'm not that stupid but uh and just just i don't know i shouldn't go down this rabbit hole i shouldn't go down this rabbit hole on video <laughs> i'm having some issues with with stuff lately just in life in general and you know, listening to some negative people and it's not good. When people are negative around me, it's it's not good for me, you know? And uh, it's just, it's not good for anybody. Negativity is a horrible thing. It really is. And it's easy to slip in to be a negative person. It really is. Um, but there's definitely some negative people around me. And, you know, I know, I know who they are. I've identified it. And I know that half of what they say is bull because... You know, whatever reasons that I'm not going to get into, but, um, yeah, it's just, it's just negativity is horrible. Negativity is horrible. I try to be positive and, you know, I, I, I watched, uh, way back in the day, I used to watch the shade hards a lot, you know, Mr. Shea Carl and his, his thing that he always used to say is happiness is a choice. And it is, it really is. You got to get out of bed every day and just be like, you know what? I got problems in my life and this sucks and that sucks and this is terrible, but you know what? Let's, let's go. Let's take on the world. Grab ourselves by our bootstraps and get something done, you know? And let's have a good attitude and treat people how you want to be treated. I'm just saying, Roman Atwood too with his whole smile more, smile more campaign. It's definitely a good message. I stand behind that one as well. So try, try to be positive guys. Try to be positive. Negativity is not going to get you anywhere in life. I'm just saying. It's really not. <laughs> it's going to get you um, not liked by people. That's the big one. People don't like people that are negative. I can't stand negative people. The other one I can't stand is... <laughs> the people that know everything. I don't know everything. I don't believe that any one person does know everything. I, I don't think so. I don't think that's possible. And, uh, the people with the know-it-all attitude, that, that, that bothers me. That really does. That bothers me. And there's definitely some of those people around me as well. And some of those people are the negative people. So, like I said, I'm not naming names. I'm not stupid. I'm not saying it's people in the community. I'm not saying it's not people in the community. I'm not, I'm just not going there. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not, not saying it's anybody in the community and I'm not saying it's, people in real life it could be both it could be neither i mean it's definitely one of them <laughs> i'm not going to tell you which one though sorry to leave you hanging on that one but uh, i'm not going to do that guys because that would be really dumb of me to talk about like a person in particular and be like this person is a piece of garbage because of like that would be horrible that'd be really dumb that'd be really really dumb I'd, that'd be very toxic of me to do that so try not to be a toxic person i try to be a good person it's not easy all the time guys it's not easy at all i'm an average joe or john 
And I'm just as horrible as the rest of the people out there. <laughs> From time to time. <laughs> but I try to be a good person, you know? I really do. Anyway, that was a weird, like, tangent rant kind of thing. Not really. Don't be toxic and don't know everything. God. The know-it-all attitude will lose your friends, too. I'm just saying. Or make you not want to... Or it'll make people not want to be around you. That whole, I know everything. Yeah. You know, sometimes it is okay. And like I said, I'm not calling out anybody in particular. I'm not saying they're part of this community. Could be somebody in real life. And I, I know a person in real life that's like this, but I'm not naming names. Um, sometimes it's okay just to grit your teeth and be like, yeah, you are right. Even if the person, you know, they're wrong about something. It's, it's okay sometimes. You don't have to always be right. And the the other one is the, um, oh, let's say the spitting contest. It's not, it's the other thing, pissing contest. I said it, okay? No matter what, you've done something bigger, better, you know, harder, whatever, insert the whatever you're talking about. You know, if I say, oh, I went to Little Caesars and I got a pizza. Well, I went and got two. All right, cool. Good for you. Do I care? <laughs> you know, like, why is, why do we have to compare everything that everybody does? That's my thing, you know? Or be like, uh, oh, what would be another one? What would be another one? What would be another one? Be like, oh, talking to farm, you know, say you're talking to Farmer Fred and be like, hey, Farmer Fred, I just bought a new tractor. And without any, with, without saying anything else, Farmer Fred would just go, well, I bought two. Like, whoopee effing do, bro. <laughs> like, hey, what kind of trash do you get? Oh, man, that's really cool. Did you see my new ones? Like, you could, there's other ways to say it without just being a jerk. Anyway. Anyway, I don't know where, where this came from, but it came from somewhere. I think it came from me being tired. I appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video. If I lost you during that rant, well, then I guess you're not hearing me now. Or if you want some more of this kind of stuff, let me know. I'm not saying that I'm wise and full of good information, but I, I think I know how to be a decent human being. Because I try every day to be a decent human being. I don't always set, uh, I don't always make that, but I, I try. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, a toodles.